Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat. Happy New Year, Father. We gather around the table of the Lord on this solemnity of our of solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. We ask for her intercession that as we usher in the new year, she may continue to guide us and inspire us. And in a special way, we continue to pray for the soul of Pope Benedict XVI, who passed away last night. And so let us acknowledge her sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand.
the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated. Muli po, Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat. Pakibati naman po ang inyong mga katabi ng Happy New Year. Yeah. Whenever we celebrate New Year's Day, there is always that sense of hope in us. Sana yan din po yung mukha na nakita ninyo sa mga katabi ninyo nung kayo'y binati ng Happy New Year. We always see a bright future ahead of us. That's why we greet one another a happy new year. We are hopeful for that for the days to come, it will be a bright and joyful one. Not only for ourselves, but also for the people that we meet and extend our greetings to. In our first reading, we hear the prayer of blessing that God prescribed to Moses and Aaron. A formula of blessing the people of Israel. This is also our prayer, a prayer of blessing, a prayer that God will bless us this year, a prayer that God will be with us this year. And this is what we all long for, blessings. Ito naman ho yung hinihingi natin sa pasimula ng bawat taon. O di kaya ay hinihingi din natin sa bawat oras, bawat araw na lumilipas, ha? Minsan pa nga, maririnig natin, sasabihin ng iba, 2023, be good to me. No? Dahil ang gusto lang naman natin ay puno ng biyaya ang papasok na taon. No? Who among us would not want to receive a blessing? Who among us would not, would, would not want to be blessed? That's why we ask people to pray for us whenever there is an occasion in our life. Maraming pagkakataon ho ang lumalapit ang mga tao sa aming mga pari na humihingi ng dasal. Basbasan sila dahil birthday, anniversary, dahil ninanais lamang din nilang mabasbasan sa natatanging araw na yon. But let us try to look deeper into this prayer of blessing that God gave to Moses. Whenever we are blessed, we let God's face shine on us. Whenever we are blessed, it means we are given the power to share life. And when God blesses us, it is not just God sharing His life to us, 
but we also become channels of these blessings. Nagiging daluyan din tayo ng biyaya. And whenever we become channels of these blessings, whenever we share the blessings that we receive, we also become concrete manifestations of God's blessings for others. And whenever we share these blessings, the only fruit that it could bring is peace. Kapag nagbabahagi tayo ng biyaya, kapayapaan ang daladala na pagpapala. There can only be two possibilities if what we are sharing does not bring peace. It is either that what we are sharing is not really a blessing or the person that would receive is not ready to receive such a blessing. Hindi ho lahat ng tao tumat handang tumanggap ng biyaya mula sa iba. That's why whenever we act, we also ask ourselves, would this action be a genuine act of sharing? Or would it just boost my ego to others? Kapag ginagawa ko ba itong mga bagay na ito, bukal ba talaga sa loob ko? O baka naman masarap lang, pa, masarap lang yung pakiramdam na may binibigay o ginagawa para sa iba? And if it is a genuine act of sharing, then we let people recognize the blessing and the true provider of blessings. Dahil kapag malinaw para sa atin na ito'y pagpapala, maituturo lang din natin kung sino yung dahilan ng lahat ng pagpapala. And this is what our second reading would remind us. We have been given the grace and blessing to be called children of God. Because God became man, because Jesus became one of us, we have also received the grace to be called children of God. But how do we receive such grace? How do we respond to such blessing? In our gospel, when the angels announced the good news to the shepherds, the first thing that they did was to look for the child. They searched for Jesus. And that is the first invitation for us. We have received a blessing, but do we look for that blessing? Do we search it in our lives? Sinusuri ba natin yung mga biyaya na natanggap natin? Malinaw ba para sa atin yung mga biyayang natatanggap natin? Sometimes we also encounter people who find it difficult to see the blessings in their lives. Even if people would affirm how blessed they have become, they still focus on the difficulties and struggles that they face. Para bang ang hirap pakitaan ng pagpapala. Huh? Yun yung mga taong nega. Huh? Na kahit anong pakita ng pagpapala nang ipapakita sa kanila, para bang mas makikita pa rin nila yung sumpa at kamalasan na nararamdaman nila. Yun pa rin ang napapansin nila. Yun pa rin ang lumilitaw sa buhay nila. Kahit napakaraming pagpapala, kahit, kahit napakaraming biyaya, pakiramdam nila malas pa rin. Pakiramdam nila may sumpa pa rin. And this is the same temptation for us. Yes, we may be undergoing difficult situations. We may be facing struggling times. Yes, people may not understand what we're going through. But it doesn't mean that we can no longer see how God moves in our lives. This is the challenge for us. To look for Jesus. To search for Jesus. The shepherds may have their own concerns of feeding and tending their sheep. But they had the time to look and search for this great news that they received. We may have become too focused on the many concerns of our life that we forget to realize the presence of Jesus in our midst. Minsan sa sobrang dami ng mga alalahanin, hindi na natin naiisipang tingnan kung saan pumapasok yung pagpapala ng Diyos sa kwento ng buhay natin. 
as we celebrate this solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Let us ask for her intercession, so that like her, we may also have the eyes to see Jesus, that like her, we could also gaze upon the face of Jesus. And as we gaze upon his face, we could also reflect the face of Jesus through the way we live our Christian life. As we begin this new year, let us be reminded with this truth to look for Jesus, to feel the presence of Jesus, to realize the gift of Jesus in our midst. As Pope Francis said on one of his messages for the World Day of Peace, God is not an indifferent God. It only means He is always with us. And when we realize and feel His presence, that we can truly, then we can truly share the meaning of blessedness. Because being blessed would only mean having Jesus at the center of our daily lives. We all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not, not made, made consubstantial with, with the father, father. Through, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this first day of the year, our hearts are full of hope that all our dreams may come true, and especially that all peoples and families may enjoy real and lasting peace. Let us ask the Lord for this special gift. For every intention you will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, and priests may strive to be messengers of peace and heralds of hope to the people entrusted to their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of nations and families of the world may work for lasting peace and respect for one another. May peace finally prevail in countries with conflicts, especially Russia and Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That each one of us may preserve the Spirit of God within our hearts, so that at all times we may share our goods with those in need especially our brothers and sisters affected by the incessant rains in different parts of the country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all of us may throughout the year turn to Mary so that led by her, we may get closer to her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that those who have gone ahead of us, especially Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, may rest in God's eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Lord our God, you are the beginning and the end of all that is beautiful and good. Let this year be to all of us. Let this year be to all of us a year of grace, peace, and joy. Keep our families and communities united, completed what you have begun in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. and sisters that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which, the bless on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, 
to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, this Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, Benedict XVI, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the steep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, 
bless them and bestow them upon us. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh. 
please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Christ the King Chapel is open for those who wish to offer prayers for the repose of the soul of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. You may wish to light a candle as an offering of prayer for him, and you may also wish to write in our book of condolences that we will also send to the Apostolic Nunciature in, in memory of our beloved Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his presence and, and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in, in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.